Uh, out of all your TV appearances, uh, do you have one that was uh, most memorable to you? Or that is. Well, I, not to put I, you I, on the spot. Well, well, well I, one one time I said something about a uh, someone asked me a question like that, and I and I said uh, the Hollywood Bowl. But but see now the trick of it was it's one of where the guy sits behind the camera. He said, "What do you feel like uh, the most important uh, show that you ever headlined?" Okay, mm-hmm. and, and and they seen the write up, and these guys here at the Grand Ole Opry, man, they got all over me about that. They said, "Why didn't you say the Grand Ole Opry?" I said, "I don't headline the Grand Ole Opry, horse. I I, <laughs> I don't I don't I don't mean to be ugly to the management." <laughs> Or nothing like that, but you don't headline the Grand Ole Opry. You're on the Grand Ole Opry, but but you just do shows on there. And I said I was the headliner a couple of times uh, at Hollywood Bowl, and that's what I named. And uh, and so it's it's a uh, it's kind of like 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 your question there, you know. Sure, uh, f- uh, fifty-seven uh, thousand people uh, were in the audience uh, at one of those Hollywood Bowl shows. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's what they tell me. Yeah, and yeah, you know what? What was your question about? about, about oh, oh, it was uh, just that. Do you have a most memorable TV appearance out, out of your TV appearance out of your career? Well, well, yeah. Uh, mm, I, I expect it'd be the Dick Clark show. <coughs> oh, and I've been and now I've been on shows on the Grand Ole Opry too now. So hope they'll excuse me there. But you know the the Dick Clark. Clark show back then was was uh it was really a big show and and when he had his twentieth anniversary, I, I made that show. I was I was on that show. Uh, they 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 showed my appearance on his twentieth anniversary, and I felt mm-hmm. honored by that. Yeah, quite and, an uh, achievement appearing on his show. Uh, oh yeah, back back then that was really really the thing. And and see, I could uh, I, I could put together a little show and work with them X Pots or anybody because. <laughs> They've been enough hard country things like a cold, cold heart, say Hank Williams, stuff like that with Tony Bennett. Oh yeah, stuff like that that's been number one in the pop field. I could just pick me out a few of those things that's really their country, you know. Yeah, and there's a lot of there's a lot of songs like the Twelfth and Never so kind to country you can't, you know, it ain't funny. Uh, and I can put me together fifteen to twenty minutes when you're on a big package show like that. And just walk right through it with them, you know. So I've done a lot of that during those days, yeah. And uh, Frankie Avalon, all them guys like that. I just worked a big show with Frankie Avalon a couple of years ago where they have all them old cars from all over the world. Oh, sure, yeah. And, and uh, you know, one of them holding the fence. <laughs> I call them places way out in the country like that a holding the fence. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, one of them holding the fence with, with thousands of them old cars. And Frankie, Frankie Avalon. And I think we call the show uh, Lost in the 50s. I like that title. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Lost in the 50s. Yeah, about uh, 24 till the hour here on WPEA. I'm Paul Joyce visiting with the fabulous Stonewall Jackson. And uh, Stonewall, throughout the years you have uh, stayed true to your country roots. And uh, and not to put yeah, you on the spot. I, I love, yeah, I love I love Hank Williams and Ernest Stubb and, and all those people. Lefty Frizzell and, of course, old George Jones. Everybody loves his singing, you know. He's just, he's just the the, the king of country singing, you know. Really, of course, uh, them and, uh, and you are some of my heroes. Yeah, yeah, and Alan Jackson, you know. I, I only come up about his pockets, but uh, I tell him you make me feel short. He said, <laughs> You're not short. I said, well, why don't I just come up to your pockets? <laughs> <laughs> Ed, do you have an opinion about the current state of uh, country music? Well, I really, I really don't like to express my opinions, except the fact that that I just, I just love traditional country music, and I would just like for it to hold together for it forever and ever. Uh, I just, I think we just owe it to the young people coming along, the babies that's being born, and all that to uh, to have country music uh, in their world. You know, I totally agree, one hundred percent. And you, and you, and you probably, probably can't, probably can't do that. If you come in and, and say, "Well, we're just going to change it to something else," we, we just go, we're just not going to have it to be anything like it was. Uh, we're just going to completely change it. Yeah, I, I think it's not fair to the to the young people coming along, and and that's why I was telling you. I hope you look 
if you if you pushing country music and hoping to be a part of it, I I hope you all the blessings in the world. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, Stonewall, I was wondering, uh, would you mind telling us a little bit about Stonewall Jackson and Friends, one of my favorite albums? And yeah, super, the super friends. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I started that thing. I thought about <laughs> doing a little guest thing, and I was going to uh, just get started with one or two of the artists off the opera like that, you know. But I got I got to fool with that thing a little bit, and, and it just took on a life of its own, and everybody started calling in, and, and it just grew and grew and grew uh, until I got I got everybody on that sucker from Roy Acuff to Garth Brooks, you know, and most of them in between. I got 51... Sure. Fifty-one acts on twenty-one songs on there, and uh, and I am singing on it. People say, "Well, I I don't wonder if you ain't singing on it." You know, <laughs> those ladies. <laughs> yeah, you're. And, uh, uh, oh, you're definitely and, uh, singing. But, but I'm but I'm singing on it. They just come in and and uh, and work with me on it, and it's kind of like I invited them all over to my house for a guitar pool, and we just sang and and uh, and, and they there's some talking on it, and uh, Roy Acuff kind of emceed it and. And uh, Waylon Jennings helped us some with it, and and uh, my my son, my uh, just him happened to be my son. He's the producer on it, but he he done a great job. He's uh, he's got a great ear for music, 